Oh, DJ Ray has El Gato y El Raton jamming. The Cat and Mouse going on. There's a Cat and Mouse game going on, always in the sport of boxing. Guys try not to get their butts kicked in. Early in the first, first fight tonight, though, David Mihad is like he came out and just knocked some people out. I'm Bethel Duran, Doug Fisher, and Holly Lawson joining you tonight on Ring TV Live. The first fight, as I mentioned, was a second round KO. Four more fights coming your way. And the next one coming up is Oscar the Huarte from Parral, Chihuahua, Mexico. He's taking on Omar Garcia from Monterrey, Mexico. And Garcia is actually making his way into the ring right now. What do you think about the Fight Club, Holly? Pretty cool, right? It's pretty cool. It's packed in here. Oh, come on. So, sold out, baby. Man. Sold out. Every month. Nice and loud. Oh, yeah. You got to love that ambience. As a fighter, that really helps. You know, it's tough fighting in front of six people. Yeah, and there you, know? you see. It really is. Oscar Duarte from Chihuahua, his, now with his trainer, Joel Diaz, Gabriel Soto, the novella actor, who's usually at all his fights, but he couldn't be here tonight because in Mexico City, they film novelas on Friday. He said if it was a Saturday, I'm so there. But that's his new manager. He has a new trainer. They are ready to go. And there he is. That is Mexico's newest Olympian. The first one since 2000, El Chino Rodriguez, Misael. Rodriguez won the bronze for Mexico a couple days ago. The reason that we're showing you this, this is one of Oscar Duarte's best friends. When they were 13 years old, the water they told this fighter right here who won the bronze from Mexico, hey, there's boxing classes down the street, let's go. He's like, nah, not really. Two months later, convinced him to go. 10 years later, this fighter is, has won an Olympic medal for Mexico. And here he is making his way into the ring. Desde Parral, Chihuahua, Mexico, Oscar Duarte. There you see him. He's 5-0 and with one draw, two KOs. He, Doug, we saw him upset a uh, standout amateur in Popo Salinas, dropped him in the first round, right. and he was the opponent that night. That's right. He took the fight on short notice, basically traveled by himself. Maybe he had one person with him, and um, he entertained the LA Fight Club fans, and he did so in his second appearance here at LA Fight Club, and he did so without scoring a knockout. And our ring announcer, Joe Martinez, is ready to go. And here we go, fight fans, our next bound tonight, six rounds, this in the lightweight division. Introducing to first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing yellow, trimmed in black, he weighed it officially 134 and one half pounds. His professional record stands at five victories. Three defeats with one win coming by way of knockout. There's the Monterrey, Mexico. Here is Mr. Power, Omar Garcia. <laughs> and next is the opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. Wearing tonight white, trimmed in black. He also weighed in 134 and one half pounds. In six professional bouts, he stands perfect with five victories. No defeats, one draw. Two wins by way of knockout. De Parral, Chihuahua, Mexico, El Invicto. Here is the undefeated Oscar Duarte. And your referee in charge of the action, Raul Gais Jr. Excuse me. Fighter chief second only, please. Fighter chief second. Protector. Protector. All right, gentlemen, you received the instructions in the dressing room. Know what I expect? Good, clean fight. Caballeros, ya recibieron las instrucciones que era una pelea limpia. Golpe legal son ahí y aquí para usted. Touch gloves, luck, both of you. Raul Caiz Jr. in his 19th year as a referee is the third man in the ring. Here's the tail of the tape, Dougie. And Duarte is 12 years younger at age 20. He is three inches taller and he has a significant reach advantage. Four inches is quite significant. Second fight of the night at the Belasco Theater, sold out LA Fight Club. Bethel Durant, Doug Fisher, Holly Lawson, we're underway. Oscar Duarte, the fighter in the black and white from Parral, Chihuahua, Mexico. His opponent, Omar Garcia, Monterrey, Mexico. So two fighters from the northern part of the state are in the ring tonight. Oscar Duarte, we mentioned it, upset 
Alejandro Salinas here, September of 2015, almost a year ago. And that was a fight, Doug, you mentioned short notice. I asked him earlier today, like, how short notice was that? He said 28 hours. There was another fighter coming to the Belasco from Chihuahua, and he told them, if they need somebody as a sub, I'm on weight, I can do it. And he is coming out very aggressive right wow. now and drops him. Oh I, my goodness, the oh, man, that's in it. with some power. And I don't know if Garcia's gonna get up. I can't he's believe that he's just counting. Caiz, he's holding on to it, and yeah. it is over. That's a, a first <laughs> wow. round KO for Oscar Duarte. Y toda la gente que está mirando en Parral, Chihuahua, Jose y Elba, su mamá, la tía Rox, hermano Carlos y Jamil, you have seen your relative with a first round KO. That is surprising. Duarte is usually somebody who takes his time. People compare him to Canelo because of his skin pigment and his mm. hair, and he kind of fights like Canelo where he's sort, sort of reserved with his offense, is never in a rush. But this fight, maybe it's the influence of Joel Diaz. It is, Doug. Joel Diaz. More pressure and letting those hands go. Holly, this fighter right here, Duarte, has finally moved to Coachella. They ah. were trying to get him over here. He's an engineering student and is a junior. And here you see the knockout, Holly. Fantastic punches here. Look at this. He's Lead left hands hook. Go. Yeah. Missed it with the hook. Missed he's loading it. up. I mean, he's he's playing for keeps with these shots. Definitely. Yeah. There's that straight right, right hand right, right there landed. Yeah. Well, the way wow. hey, the way Garcia went down, I'm I'm surprised the ref even bothered to count. Right. I mean, he, he, that's going down in a heap. He kind of tried to get up, and he was on his forehead. There it was not. Garcia not is known as a fighter that I want that they say in Spanish. He's durable. He's only been stopped once. And the one stoppage was the only time he had ever been knocked down, and it was a body shot. It was a liver shot, he said. He's like, no, I'm here. I'm tough. But Duarte, I was mentioning he's working with Joel Diaz. He moved here, and he said for the first time in his life, he has sparring partners. Wow. Because he's a working huge with difference. Joel. What a huge difference. I was yeah, going to ask if that was his first It's a high caliber of sparring uh, partners as well, because uh, Diaz has a, a strong, young st uh, stable. And it's funny. I was about to say at the start of the broadcast yeah, well, he didn't give us a chance. Yeah, right. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Yeah, that Duarte's power was sort of in question. You know, yes, he, you can tell he has heavy hands because he scored knockdowns, but he doesn't. He usually doesn't get the knockout, which makes you wonder. Uh, less of a question Ladies and now. Gentlemen, the end comes at the official time, 58 seconds. Round number Chief. one, referee Raul Caiz Jr. reaches the count of 10. Your winner by KO victory, he is still undefeated, Oscar. Razo in Houston, you're one of our most loyal fans. You've seen Duarte's every fight on Ring TV. Live. I know you were impressed by this one right here. As my Twitter just blew up right now using the hashtag Ring TV Live, this guy came out right away. Duarte, Dougie, to finish the story with him, when we saw him that fight when he knocked out, when he stopped Salinas, Roberto Diaz said, hey, who's your manager? I want to work with you, maybe bring you back here. He's like, well, me. He's like, no, 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 no. Who's your manager? <laughs> He's like, me. <laughs> well, who represents you? He's like, no, I told these guys, just give me a fight anywhere. I just want to go to the United States. You got to respect that. Somebody who's willing to relocate, move, committed, you know, all the way in. He took a fight on, what, 28 hours notice? Is that yeah, and that, was, that, and was that was his was US debut. And he had to lose right. 10 pounds. That's amazing. That's he, amazing. And he actually, if this is his first fight with Diaz, he came out and he showed that, he, you know, he's changed his style a little bit. That's a huge thing, you know? And look at more highlights or quick highlights from him. It generally doesn't happen with no, your first fight. Not it doesn't happen overnight. That was a beautiful lead left hook. That was Canelo-esque right there. Did get a little reckless with the, the follow-up hook. There's the hook again, working the body with both hands. Those missing uppercuts with the are hook. coming with really bad intentions. And these that right here, that was the coup de grace. Just Man, left, right, left, right, that. and that's that. That was it. And there's a nice angle to those shots. Absolutely. Really impressive that you can pick something up from a trainer with your first outing with them. Well, Joel worked his last fight, but he was in the corner. Okay. So that was their first acclimation to each other. Right. This is the first time he also said, how about this, Doug? You've heard this with many Mexican fighters. He goes, I can eat right. <laughs> I'm eating right in the United States. I'm not going to starve myself to make weight. I'm going to eat right and stay at weight or close to weight. That's always a good thing. That can always affect your power, too. And he's charismatic, too. And we're bringing Joel Diaz and Oscar, both of them, over. So we'll have Joel, the trainer, and we'll have Oscar Duarte, the fighter, coming up right now. Hey, bring Joel, too. Joel, vente. Los dos. Come on. Joel Diaz, don't even, don't even act like you're shy on TV, Joel Diaz. Come on, now. Hey, ponte estos. Joel, sit down. Sit down. Grab the headphones right there, Joel. 
Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a microphone. I know you've never been on TV before. Como estamos viendo felicidades. This is a manager over here, Oscar Duarte. Let's put that down now. Okay, respira, breathe a little bit. In English, all right? He, he speaks a little bit of English. How do you feel? Excellent. Good. <laughs> Excellent, good. ¿Cómo te sientes ese, con ese knockout? How do you feel with that knockout? Me siento, pues, muy contento. I'm happy. Muy contento, muy agradecido con, con toda la gente que me ha apoyado aquí con con el coach, con, con mi familia, con toda esa gente que me apoya y pues es, este, este triunfo también es de ellos. I think, uh, feel happy and thanks to everybody that supported me. This fight was for them. La primera vez que has trabajado con Joel Díaz, ¿cómo te sentiste en esto y cómo te ha ayudado? First time you worked with Joel Díaz, how did you feel and how much has he helped you? Así es, pues hicimos un gran trabajo este, en el campamento y pues venimos y lo demostramos aquí. We had a great camp and we came in and showed it. Joel, you just met this kid. He finally moved into your Coachella house three weeks ago. How impressed are you with him? I'm very impressed with his work. You know, his work ethic is great. You know, he works. He never complains. Sometimes he wants to do extra. You know, I have to hold him back a little bit. One thing I know about this kid, he has a lot of power. He we throws, just saw it. <laughs> okay. He throws, he throws uh, with both hands, left and right. He hits extremely hard. That's why, not, that's why I now I'm working with him how to break the opponents from the beginning. Be patient. Yeah, the last two fights he came out, he worked. But let's look at the highlight right now where he came out with the first round knockout. And this is something that you told me that you knew he had that power, as this highlight will be showing up, and that you've seen it in the gym. And Joel, though, he's in there sparring with some of your best fighters. And we saw the result of it tonight. What do you see right there, Joel? Well, he connected that shot, and one, one of the most important things is don't get too close to his fighters. He used to get too close and smother himself, and right now he's got, he's got a perfect distance where he lands the, the nice, clean shots. And there you see, que lo, antes lo encimabas. No podías tirar, like, like Joe said, you, you were smothering your opponent. Así es, este, antes me, me encimaba mucho cuando veía que lastimaba al rival. Pues para quererlo acabar me, me pegaba mucho, y pues en esta preparación el coach me... Me, me dijo ese error y lo estuvimos practicando la distancia y gracias a Dios todo se dio work como se esperaba. Work the distance and everything result came out. And Joel, you only know him for a couple of months or briefly. What is his ceiling? Where do you see this kid? I see this kid uh, go real far because he has great defense. He has a lot of power. And most of all, he loves the sport. And I see a lot of potential in him. You know what, honestly, I told Antonio the other day in the gym when he was sparring. He comes to the gym and the first day of sparring, he put somebody down with a body shot. His first day of sparring with me. And it wasn't just anybody. And I said, Antonio, I see a young Julio Cesar Chavez on this kid because he's a hunter. He hunts you down and he knows where to hit you. And then when he hurts you, he knows he got you and he breaks you down until he has you done. A year ago, he had no trainer. A year ago, he had no promoter. A year ago, he had no manager. Now he's got Joel Diaz. Tiene Memo Rocha, tiene lo de Keki aquí en, en Cancún. ¿Cómo te sientes? Hace un año no, no tenías nada, ahora sí tienes todo. Manda los saludos a todos los que están en México. Quiero, quiero mandarle un saludo a toda mi gente de México, en especial a mi familia, a mis padres, mis tíos, este, y a todos mis amigos y toda la gente que me, que me ha estado siguiendo y apoyando. Y pues arriba para el Chihuahua. El para el Chihuahua. Ganaron el bronce en, en, de México, ahora llega Oscar Duarte. Así es, pues muy contento y también motivado por la, por la gran medalla de, de mi hermano el chino, Rodríguez, y pues... Muy contento. Doble man. satisfacción. Uh, one of his best friends, he calls him his brother, Chino Rodriguez, wins the bronze for Mexico. He's now 6-0, an impressive first round stoppage. He goes back to Coachella. He's not going to Chihuahua. He's going back to Coachella with a victory. We'll be back with more from the Velasco Theater on Ring TV Live.
16 years has been um, amazing. We've raised millions and millions of dollars uh, for the foundation. It all goes back to, um, to the White Memorial Hospital. It goes back to the uh, Oscar de Loya High School. We do giveaways um, um, to families in East LA. Um, we scholarships. Uh, it's just been great. This is, uh, you know, these charities for a bunch of great causes like, you know, cancer research and also schools in East LA, which I, I'm from Chicago. I grew up in the not so great part of Chicago, or not, you know, low income or whatever. And I, hopefully, one day I can do the same. Y Oscar de la Hoya, pues tiene ese, esa gran luz de poder ayudar a nuestra gente y tenemos que unirnos para poder unir fuerzas y ayudar a mucho más gente cada día más. Well, you know, obviously Oscar is a friend, you know, and, and, and his foundation is doing a lot of good stuff. So whatever we can do to show up and stir it up a little bit, we, we do. Yo creo que es algo positivo, algo bonito que está haciendo, ¿no? Para, para ayudar y, y aquí estamos, ¿no? A, ayudando en lo, en lo que podamos. Back at the Belasco Theater, Golden the Boy Boxing on Ring TV Live, brought to you by the Ring TV app. Download the all-new Ring TV app today for a chance to win two tickets to the Canelo Smith fight and a signed glove from Oscar De La Hoya. Download from the App Store today. I already did it. Open it up. Win those tickets. See if you can get down the Dallas, Texas to check that out. More than half the tickets have already been. <laughs> World Canelo and Liam Smith going at it September 17th in a good undercard with Gabe Rosado, Diego DeLoya, and Joseph Diaz Jr. Beth Duran, Doug Fisher, and Holly Lawson's two fights are in the books. Both of them going knockouts. David Mijares, a second round KO for Junebug, and Oscar Duarte from Parral, Chihuahua, Mexico. Holly, a first round KO. We even had a chance to breathe here. No, couldn't even catch my breath. I was about to say that he had come out with a pretty defensive posture and then all of a sudden he straightened up and started going forward and then couldn't even get it out of my mouth because he had the guy on the ground already. It's pretty impressive. He actually. knew when to open up. Yeah, he, he you know, definitely once, once he saw the opening, he seized it and then took advantage of it. As soon as he heard his man, he got rid of him. And he was really putting something on those punches. They were pretty sharp. You know, he swung through the fences with a couple of the hooks, but he definitely connected with that, was it a right, left, and then to the body? Yeah. He touched him to the body. Yeah, went to fantastic. the body with both hands and then went to the head yeah. with both hands. And, just and that's landed. the kind of fighter fans like to see. But again, I was surprised that he finished him that quickly. I wouldn't have been shocked by a stoppage maybe in the third or fourth round. Yeah. But a first round knockout, I'm just not used to seeing that quick of a start from Duarte, which I think is a hint of, of good and better things to come well, with his union with Joel Diaz. Oscar Duarte, David Mijares, both of them with stoppages. Three more fights on your way, Alexis Rocha, Ivan Delgado, and Slava Shabranksy. For those of you wondering about Gennaro Gomez, his fight fell through. It happens in the sport of boxing, especially when you're in your second, third, fourth fight. So for those of you wondering where Gomez, his fight fell through for tonight, but he's in attendance, and that's another fighter to keep an eye on. Conde Gomez from San Diego. We'll be back with more at 7 o'clock on Ring TV Live.